Durham Cathedral's delighted to be working in collaboration with Durham University on this project. It continues, continues a long tradition of the two institutions working together ever since the university was founded by the Dean and Chapter of the Cathedral in 1832. Um, it's a wonderful collaboration and it means that the Cathedral's collections will be accessible to a far wider range of academic audience and therefore allow for far more research to be done into the collections and that's a very special thing. The project wouldn't work without the collaboration of the Cathedral and the university. They are able to access them now but they need to come to Durham. Um, once they're digitised, they'll be able to access them in their own homes, in their own offices, um, and we intend to engage with the collections online to enable it to be searched and researched in a new and innovative way. We have uh, projects such as the Digitisation Project, which is a collaboration between the Cathedral and the University, and this brings new techniques and allows us to look at these manuscripts which have been here for hundreds of years with cutting-edge technology from the 21st century. I mean, we've all heard of the Reformation, and... What happened to most monastic and cathedral collections was that on the eve of the Reformation, all of the collections were broken up and Durham is in the extremely fortunate position that most of its collection is still here as it has been for a thousand years. And knowing that you're getting a book out in the library that hasn't really moved more than a couple of hundred yards in a thousand years is, is quite extraordinary. The collection of medieval manuscripts is unique because unlike almost any other collection of medieval manuscripts in um, in Europe, in, in the UK and in Europe, it represents virtually intact the library of one ecclesiastical institution, namely the Benedictine monks that lived at Durham Cathedral from 1085 until the dissolution of the monasteries. Um, there are very few other libraries that, that are of this nature. Most of them are were put together in a kind of... Um, uh, ad hoc manner by people who collected manuscripts from the monasteries after they were dissolved by Henry VIII or salvaged them or purchased them. Here at Durham, the library remained largely, not completely, but largely intact. And it's being able to see the books that were made here, belonged here, and are still here all together that makes this, uh, for me as a historian of medieval intellectual and cultural life, um, quite uh, without compare anywhere in the world. Just to look at some of the manuscripts as they're being digitised is wonderful, to see the colours, the richness, the beauty of the work of art, and I imagine that lots of people will be really interested.